you learn early how to build a business because the business is nothing more than dealing with change and overcoming obstacles. That's what all business is about. It's not about math or any of that stuff. It's about winning over people and getting over obstacles. I walked into a sea of men in navy blue and gray suits and I was noticed because I had a red suit on with a short skirt. That's an advantage to separate yourself from the pack. So even though I didn't have their knowledge, their connections, their money, the wherewithal, their traditions of being the big families in town that own the real estate trade, I had uh, looked different. I thought different. I had a different background, one of need, which they didn't have. They had one of affluence. Uh, I walked in with a suitcase full of advantages and I saw it that way. I never thought I was less than. The best thing a competitor could do to me is look down on me or say a disparaging word or dismiss me. Oh, when they dismissed me and acted like I didn't say anything, I would just quietly say to myself, you wait, I'll get even when I'm your number one rival. And I became the number one broker, fueled by that kind of fury of insult. They sent me a contract. I was qualified. I said I could choose good businesses. I built a big business. I know how to do this. I have the money to spend. Those were the qualifiers. But then a week before I was headed out to LA, the Hollywood Hills with my brand new set of suitcases, real leather, no doubt. My new Hollywood outfits where I could sign autographs. I had just been going, getting drunk on my head over the whole thing. Uh, they wrote and said that they had changed their mind. They had hired another woman. So I sat immediately down after I felt sorry for myself for about 30 seconds flat. And I wrote an email, how he's making a mistake and that I thought I would be his best shark and I was buying my own ticket and I'd be out there to compete for the seat. I, he pretty much blown away. I mean, that's pretty aggressive, I'd say. But what did I have to lose? I had been dismissed, okay? And that got me out there to compete for the seat and I won that seat. Change keeps you interested. The, the harder I work and the more things that come my way, the more interesting life is and the more interesting I think people become because they've got a lot coming at them. So no, I don't feel like I want to go to the, the mountaintop <laughs> and have more casual time. I think I'd bore the crap out of myself. That's what I think. And so far as the Business Unusual webinar series, the reason I like that particular change is because of the feedback we're getting. You know, at t shares the same passion for small business that I have, and they're a great technology partner. They know technology inside and out. I don't know that. So together, we're able to help these entrepreneurs know what's important and the feedback we get, we're always spot on. So easy, it's all for free, 888-BARBER.COM. That's all you have to do, just sign up and hang out with us. My mother looked at me with adoration. She told me I was a genius, even though I couldn't pass anything at school. She told me I had a wonderful imagination, and with my imagination, I would learn to fill in all the blanks. She constantly told me how terrific I was and she encouraged me to get a job after school. So by the time I was 23, I had already had 22 jobs, part-time, menial jobs. I found that people liked me and my personality came out that didn't come out in the classroom. I would say the most important thing is I had one person in my court, my mother, who constantly chose to look at the positive in me and remind me of it every day of my life.